Greetings friend. Watch refrigeration news for Thursday, February 29, 2024 on our channel. New generation of EFCA heat pumps using low GWP refrigerant R32. Copeland launches new innovation lab in Belluno, Italy. ERA launches new website and brand identity. GCCF wraps up a successful emerging markets program in Southeast Asia. Axiom Cloud closes million in funding to accelerate deployment of refrigerant leak detection software. ARBS announces industry awards finalists. Dear friend, please like this video if it was useful for you. First news today. New generation of EFCA heat pumps using low GWP refrigerant R32. The newly developed switchable heat pumps for direct connection to the chilled slash hot water circuit offer a 66% lower global warming potential, GWP, as well as higher seasonal energy efficiency, SCOP values. The units are ideal for cooling or heating offices, shops, hotels or industrial buildings in a two-pipe changeover system. Five years after the introduction of monoblock heat pumps for use in the light commercial sector with small capacities, for example, we are proud to present the newly developed and improved second generation. Read more the news on our website today. Second news today. Copeland launches new innovation lab in Belluno, Italy. Copeland, a global provider of sustainable climate solutions, announced the opening of a new innovation lab in Belluno, Italy, where the company employs more than 200 people. The new Copeland Innovation Lab is a 10,000 plus square foot space focused on research and development for Copeland Controls products used in energy efficient heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration (HVACR) products. The launch of the Copeland Innovation Lab will help the company deliver a new level of excellence in the innovation of Copeland Controls products, allowing the team in Belluno to anticipate worldwide market needs by developing future-forward sustainable solutions. Read more the news on our website today. Third news today. ERA launches new website and brand identity. In a move that refreshes the 103-year-old institute's image and also improves both efficiency and accessibility, leading HVAC and AMP, our body ERA has unveiled a new brand identity and website. We are really excited about the changes, says ERA CEO Sami Jung, Pavil. ERA. We have refreshed the ERA brand to better reflect who we are and what we do. And we have developed a new digital platform to provide users with an improved web experience. Read more the news on our website today. Fourth news today. GCCF wraps up a successful emerging markets program in Southeast Asia. In December 2023, GCCF completed the final phase of the four-year emerging markets program in Cambodia, Thailand, and Vietnam. Tamara Pilevsky, United States Cold Storage, Robert Hernandez, United States Cold Storage, and Bob Tipman, Quick Freeze, traveled with Madison Jocko to Southeast Asia to provide in-person training and consultations on cold chain management. More than 140 participants attended across the three trainings, 40% of which were women in the cold chain. Read more the news on our website today. Fifth News Today Axiom Cloud closes million in funding to accelerate deployment of refrigerant leak detection software. Axiom Cloud announced that it closed million in funding from Toshiba Tech and Windsail Capital Group. This funding aims to accelerate the deployment of the company's AI powered in quad, early leak detection and quad, ELD, module, which detects refrigerant leaks earlier without requiring a new on site hardware or sensors. Axiom Cloud's technology and services will be especially vital as facilities move to comply with recently announced EPA regulations outlined in the American Innovation and Manufacturing AIM, Act, which restrict commercial emissions of hydrofluorocarbons HFCs, through refrigerant leaks and other sources. Read more the news on our website today. Sixth News Today ARBS Announces Industry Awards Finalists ARBS has announced the finalists for its 2024 Industry Awards. The awards, which will be presented during ARBS at a gala dinner in the ICC Ballroom on May 29, recognize outstanding achievements in HVAC and AMP, our sustainability and innovation. The finalists are listed below. ARBS Outstanding Industry Education slash Training Finalists BioRef Academy, CO2 Safety and Systems Training 
The initiative offers hands-on, interactive training in CO2 technology and safety practices. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. Share the news with your friends. Follow Refrigeration News on social networks. Please find the links below.